luminous range overview. How do we solve a luminous range problem? Each problem ha gives a nominal range and a visibility. And then we use this luminous range diagram to solve that problem. So nominal ranges are here on the bottom and here on the top. You'll notice the scale is different. Like the distance between one and two is about the same as over here between 25 and 30. It's a logarithmic scale, both on the x and y axis. So we have nominal range down here. These are visibility curves. See them? And then this side gives us luminous range. So we get a nominal range. If our nominal range is 10 and our visibility is 0.5, we follow the nominal range up until it intersects the visibility curve of half a nautical mile. So then we're right at this point. And then what we do is take that point there and we take it out horizontally and we meet up with the side scale for luminous range. So you might, it helps if you use an envelope works pretty well. Any straight edge or ruler would work too. But you can, let's say the nominal range was 12, you can get more accurate. 11, 12, and then you can draw that line and see where it intersects the curves. Probably easier this way, so you can see the, the um, visibility curves. So what you do is you take nominal range from the problem, come find it, follow nominal range line up until you hit your visibility, which for our example is half a nautical mile. So follow nominal range up till you hit the curve. And then once you hit that curve, follow it over. So we're saying like 1.3 or 4. See this half tick right there? You'll notice that that tick mark is not halfway between 1 and 2 right here. And that is because it's a logarithmic scale. So it, it changes as it goes up. This distance between 50 and 40 that represents 10 units and it's pretty small. Whereas down here, just one unit here between one and two, it looks bigger than 10 units up here. So it's a logarithmic scale. It's a little bit different than you're used to. So again, to use this luminous range diagram, get nominal range from the problem, say it's 10, you follow it up until you hit the correct visibility curve, then once you hit that curve, you follow it over and it gives you luminous range.